eternal God and our Father in heaven. This morning, Lord, again, we come to you in the name of Jesus, thanking you for your grace and your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your love and your compassion, for your peace that passeth all understanding. We praise you and worship you, O God, because you are worthy to be praised, to be honored and adored. As we come to you this morning, Lord, we want to thank you to know that you are our Father and we can come to you any time of the day, any moment, regarding any situation in our lives. Father, this morning, Lord, I just want to say, God, to you be all the glory, the honor, and the praise. I come to you, Lord. Asking that you will forgive us of our sins and wash us one more time in your blood. That, Lord, you will help us to cope with our present situations and circumstances. I am mindful, Lord, of my brethren who are bereaved at this moment. Lord, I pray for comfort. I pray, Lord, for strength. I pray, eternal God, for divine assurance that death is not the end. I lift them up to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, because you are strong. And you said, Lord, your strength is made perfect in our weakness. We are weak, Lord, and at this time are vulnerable. And I pray, Lord, that you will help that our, us being vulnerable, Lord, we will not be taken advantage of by the enemy. But, Lord, we will anchor our faith secure in you. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up to you all my brethren who are bereaved. And I pray, God, for strength, for divine courage, divine power and assurance that you, Lord, who have promised that our dead loved ones will live again, that, Lord, at this moment, we might see this as an impossible task, but deep down, Lord, we know it's a reality and this reality will be made known to us soon and very soon. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will comfort them at this time, that you will put your divine arms around them and that you will speak reassuring them, Lord, that it is not over. For the day is coming when death himself shall die. As it is written, behold, I create a new heaven and a new earth. And the former things shall not be remembered nor come into mind. And there shall be no more tears, no more crying, no more sorrows, nor heartache, neither pain. And there shall be no more death. O oh Lord, may you help their God that they will comfort each other with these words. For behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all die. We shall not all sleep. For the trump of God shall sound, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. And those of us who are alive and remain shall be caught up together to meet with the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. O oh, Father, may we take comfort from these words, knowing, Lord, that death is just a cessation of life, a pause in the long train of life, and we shall live again with our loved ones who have gone on to sleep before us. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, that you will bless them abundantly. My, my relatives, my brethren, that, Lord, you will help that they will be comforted we will take comfort from your words and not be deceived by the enemy and his whispering not be deceived lord when doubts come in our mind as regards to our present situation i pray father for financial stability i pray god that you will provide the means lord necessary that we'll have the finance, my brethren will have the finance, my relative will have the finance, and all, Lord, who are grieving at this time will have the necessary finance to suffice all the needs that need to be taken care of so that our loved ones can be 
laid to rest in dignity and in decency. Provide for them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, for those who have to travel to, 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 to foreign countries, Lord, to be a part of these funerals, I pray, God, that you'll make the necessary plans, Lord, make the necessary situation happen, Lord, that they will be able to finance these journey in the name of Jesus oh Lord as they grieve Lord help them Lord not to mourn like those who have no hope but to, gr to grieve Lord with the thoughts in mind that soon and very soon all this will be over all this will be at an end eternal God we worship you Lord and our faith is in you our hope is in you and we know Lord any moment now soon and very soon we shall be where death will never reign for no tears shall stain the streets of that city and we will be living in a home where death is a total stranger for no reed of death shall be on our mansion's door for the heart will never grieve anymore hallelujah hasten on lord god even so come lord jesus thank you for all you have done all you are doing and all you are yet to do I glorify you, I praise you, I worship you, and I say thank you, Jesus, for the assurance that death himself shall die one day very soon. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.